Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and we just want to go over a couple of mods that we've made to our trailer that's made life at camp so much easier. Um, first and foremost, this tray used to be slid all the way back. Uh, there wasn't really much we could put up because of the size that it is and how close it was to here. And anytime I try to put anything on it, it'd be leaning forward or when I go to strap it down, it just, you know, make it, you know, catty corner and it just wouldn't, nothing would fit right on this rack so what we did was we removed the propane tank and we have slid this forward and then we put a side mounted toolbox that usually goes on like the truck like the rail of a truck bed now the reason why we did this is if you open it it's got this lip and on this lip i have mounted the battery cutoff switch the mat like the master power and then i've got little trinkets and stuff like i just sit on top you know i've got some like um those like industrial zip ties laying on top. I've got a couple tools laying on top. You just things like that. It makes like a perfect little shelf. Plus it was free. I got it, you know, from a parent's house. It used to be on one of my old trucks and they were looking to get rid of it. So I was like, hey, I'll take it off your hands. And then, so these are the first two mods that we made. And then the last mod that I did was I went and bought a double wheel on Amazon so that we can push this thing around. Uh, it came with a little flat paint flat plate that everyone has it's the biggest thing i've seen on the bushwhacker page that uh, a lot of people are having issues because it's hard to move around and it's just it's just a pain so i went on amazon i spent 30 bucks double wheel i forgot how much it's rated for but it's i mean with the tongue weight only being 200 pounds it's more than enough i don't need any other any other wheels so Besides these three things, I've made a couple mods to the back. We're about to walk to the back real quick, and uh, we'll show you there. Let's go. All right, guys, we are at the back of the camper, and this is where most of the work I've put in has taken place. Um, as you can tell, we've added a backsplash. We added a faucet. Um, I've redone this, this whole contraption here. When we first got this, you could not access this for nothing. So we're going to walk through all the mods and... Um, just kind of give you an idea how we did it, how much we spent on it, and it wasn't it wasn't very expensive at all. So obviously the first mod we did was we cut out the back of the camper, added some trims and support systems, and so we could fit the uh, Bouge RV 30 quart cooler. Now after that we pulled out the sink. I'm sorry, we didn't pull out the sink. We pulled out the stove because that Flame King had two settings: the Abyss of Hell. In the surface of the sun you couldn't cook anything it was just it burned everything we stuck in there so we pulled that out i put in this cutting board and we use a scottle so after that my wife wanted a backsplash so we went to um, lowe's home depot couldn't find anything that she liked so on amazon we found these little hexagon little squares and just peel and stick cut them to sh uh, cut them to fit put them up there and it it looked it turned out very very well and then Going farther up, we mounted these little baskets because beforehand they would just slide back and forth any time we'd go down the road. And we got tired of things, you know, ending up on this side or dumping over and spilling out. So we um, just took some 3M sticky tape and put it there. And it's held up very well. Uh, other mod we did, best $15 ever spent on Amazon, paper towel holder, just 3M sticky tape. Paper towels now have a designated area we don't have to ask each other, hey, where's paper towel? Like 30 times during a camping trip. So that's it for here up. Now here's where we get into the good stuff. This is this is what I take a lot of pride in. Like I said, when I first got this camper, I think it was the 22 models and newer. Uh, this was just one piece of wood. So what I did was I pulled it out, added these little rail systems, and I took the existing uh, piece of wood in here, cut it in half, added handles, and now I can slide it and access both sides. So just, you know, we keep our um, Christmas lights that we string up at camp, some dish soap, another little basket. This is our coffee basket. I've got a little burner and the little fuel that it takes. And then if you open up this side, what I've done is I took two baskets, a long one and a short one, and I screwed them to the floor so they don't move. So we in the long one, we keep our plates, you know, um, utensils, I got a cup. I got a mason jar of sugar. I got a bungee cord that holds the plates up to the side so they don't rattle around too much. And then in this smaller basket, we you know we just keep sunscreen, bug spray, trash bags, you know, just the usual. But as far as just the amount of time I put in, the amount of work I put into this camper, this is by far this area right here 
is this is this is my favorite just because because it took it took some time, took some thinking, and you know I got a couple ideas off the interwebs, in the Facebook page off of uh, the Bushwhacker page, but it was just pictures, so I had to figure out how to do this myself. So all the hardware, the faucets, the color scheme, you can thank my wife because she's the one that came up with the colors, and uh, and that's it as far as the mods. These mods have made our camper and camping camping life so much more pleasurable easier especially with two kiddos now it's going to make a world of difference i don't have to constantly get bins out of the truck everything's got a place everything's got a you know little nook little cranny we put stuff in and uh, we look forward to showing you guys this whole thing in action i don't think we've we stopped camping in north carolina because we moved to texas and we've been once it was just me and my daughter and just to get us two out of the house and just get back in it but ever since then ever since we moved to the house we've been waiting on little brother to get here now that he's here we're gonna start camping again so it's gonna be fun so next week it's gonna be a daddy daughter adventure i will be filming you will get to see how we use everything um i'm sure that it's gonna work out flawlessly because we haven't done anything to this camper yet that hasn't worked uh, we put a lot of thought into it before I start cutting stuff up because see, it's it's a twelve thousand dollar camper. You know, I don't want to I don't want to cut stuff and put stuff in and not like it. So we we put a lot of thought. We knew what we wanted, knew what we needed. Uh, as far as propane tanks, I'm just going to carry them in the bed of my truck. I mean, we live in Texas. I don't I have no need for this heater. I'm going to keep it in there because we got you know we have plans to go to Wyoming and stuff like that. But as far as living here, we don't need the heater. So I've got I've got that propane hose, um, you know, plug where nothing can get in it. Add this little piece on here. Now I know it's installed backwards, but the way this lip is and the way this is going, it kept sliding up. So I used I put it backwards so it hooks in this little ridge right here, cinched it down, and no more hitch rattle. It drove me freaking insane. Oh, and I almost forgot the this is our coffee crate. I mean, everything we need, we got a percolator, coffee cup, our bison mugs, grinder, everything. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Those are the mods we've made, and we will see you next week on our Daddy Daughter Adventure. Thank you, and have a good one.